Hey guys, Asian Boy here. So today we'll be doing another unboxing of the GM38 gas mask. I hope I didn't say that wrong, and I hope I got the right gas mask. So I won this one on the bid, right? The only downside of this gas mask um, is uh, one of the lenses is popped out, but they said it can possibly, possibly be popped back in. But we'll see about that. Um... This does not come with the canister, unfortunately, and it's a World War II German gas mask. So a lot of newspaper, alright. I assume this is going to be the filter. Yep. Ah, oh, no cap. No cap. That's okay. Oh, this is heavy. You can hear the charcoal. <laughs> so here's the, um, let me turn the flash. So here's the inside. Oh, it's like metal mesh. That's new. It's not like a P3. But it's a little bit rusty, but not too bad. So it looks like on the bottom. This is interesting. I wouldn't doubt if this had asbestos in it, but you know, it is what it is, right? Um, Here's the gas mask. Ooh. Let's put this away. So yes, here it is. Whoa! <laughs> uh, it is. Oh yeah, it could possibly. It, it is bendy. Ooh, maybe I can. Oh. Huh. Whoopsies. Yikes. Oh, I see it's warped. Oh yeah, that's... Prim oh! <laughs> Fuck. I am... Whatever. Dude, I just demolished that on accident, huh? Wow, would you... <laughs> Fuck, I could have done that so much more. I could probably just put... Oh, wow. So it's hard plastic. It's hard plastic. Wow, I'm... That that was not smart of me, Austin. Wow, I, I just... <sighs> yeah, it's fine. I possibly could have gotten, like, hot plastic. Not hot plastic. Got, like, a lighter and slowly warped it back to shape. But as you can see, that's too late. And here's the metal pin that was keeping it on. And that's knocked off. Oh well, I guess. I mean, th th that sucked. I feel kind of. I, I feel pretty stupid. Uh, this is this was pretty brittle, but oh well. But here's the um, GM38 gas mask with one lens popped out. I feel so stupid. <laughs> Shit. Um, here's the straps. I don't even want to pull the straps. The straps are probably going to fall apart. But that's just how it is with old gas masks, you know? I mean, if you look at um the gas mask, uh, gas mask, uh, not gas mask, uh, weapons and weapons and stuff, 39, I think it's, 33, 93, yeah, 93. He had a, um, another German gas mask. So it's a civilian white one. And, um, well, he pulled on the strap and it snapped off the strap. So it's like, what can you do? You know, these are old. You try, you gotta be careful. I clearly was not careful and it popped off, which is unfortunate. And I feel really bad for that, but oh well, I guess. Um, I'd like to put this on my face though. That'd be cool, but I don't wanna, you know, fuck it up. Here's, uh, here's the inside look, right? Of the mask. Ooh, let me turn down the brightness on that. There you go. It's all, it's just a little bit of dust. I'm I'm gonna wipe it off, wipe some dust off, and see if I can put on my face. Um, before I put on my face, though, you guys are probably wondering what it looks like with the um filter on, gas mask with the filter on. It does not really bother me too much that the lens is now gone. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, it doesn't bother me that much. Only for the fact that the mat is like it just the way it was drooping out really pissed me off. And I almost decided to not bid on it only because of the droop, right? But now that it's not there, it kind of looks better. For my personal opinion, it's my gas mask anyway. But, um, I mean, it probably wouldn't look too bad if I if you left the crack on, like right here. Ah, crap. Like that, just keep it on like that. That wouldn't bother me. But when it's 
like this, right? And it's fully together and it's just drooping out like that. That 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 that's what pisses me off. But that's beside the point. Now what I'm gonna do is wipe it down. Cause I know you guys are curious what it looks like on my face. So I will wipe this down. Alright, so now I'm cleaning this as much as I can. Because I really do not want <laughs> Well, whatever dust it has left on my face, right? So here's the mask once again. Here's in better lighting, a lot less darker, right? And now I'll unscrew the mask. Oh, that unscrew the mask. Unscrew the filter. Put on number four. Here's what it looks like on the bottom. It has this inhale valve and exhale valve, as you can see. A little, you can kind of push in as you inhale, and the exhale would be here. I'm going to write down the inhale valve only because the filter's been here, and God knows what else has been in here. There you go. That looks good. The, val the valve, this piece here. It's like hard aluminum, very stiff. Does it have a ring to it? It most likely is aluminum for the inhale valve, the exhale valve. And I'm putting this on my face. I'm gonna be, very, I'm gonna try to be gentle because I don't want to make any mistakes with the, you know, the strap. I don't want to put this on my face. I'll most likely just hold my breath, even if I don't have the filter on. It's just there's so much dust and stuff. Nope, can't for I can't force it. I don't want to force it. Uh. <laughs> I don't. I didn't hold my breath. I could probably inhale and probably wouldn't be as bad. But I'd probably wear a dust mask underneath because I just. Man. This thing is dirty, man. Once again, I'm gonna put on my face. And I'm, this time I'm most likely will be because I wiped out the inside of the valve. I'm breathing very carefully because, once again, I don't want to inhale too much of what's inside here. Because I do feel some dust smacking my face on the inhale. So I don't feel very comfortable doing too much inhaling, but this is what it looks like, and this is how I sound like with the mask. Obviously, if I were to try to pressurize, it wouldn't work because the lens, even when I didn't snap it off, it, it was warped out, so... It's one of those old wells, but it's actually a really nice mask. It does look good. How does it feel on my face? It's kind of heavy. It does need to be adjusted a little bit more to my face. The, right? But the only issue is, once I make it too tight, which would be useless, right? Because it wouldn't even pressurize. If I make it too tight, I feel like these elastic bands would snap off. On one of these buckles. You know, it's so old. And it's an old rail like that. You would just wouldn't want to be messing with it too much, right? Um, now this time, I'm going to put on the filter and show what it looks like, but I will be holding it in my breath because I don't feel comfortable inhaling with the mask on. Right? So that's what I look like with the filter on. If I had a cool helmet or something, it'd look good, but like a shot helm. Unfortunately, I don't want one of those yet. But that's what it looks like with the mask on. So, yeah. This is what the GM38 uh, gas mask is, right? Um, with the filter on, it felt a little bit heavy. 
but if I had to tie the strap, it wouldn't be as, um, probably wouldn't be as heavy. I could probably look on just fine. It's a pretty big filter, I'm gonna be honest. Pretty heavy too. So, um, I see no stamps on this mask at all. I'm sure it all has worn off over time, but there are some here. There are some, uh, what's the word? Like, uh, I guess you can call them stamps. I don't know what you call them. Engravings. This one says FE41. If that focus is right. Uh, we have, and this one, let's see what else it says. Um, now this one says FE only. That's the only markings I see on the filter. As for the gas mask, the only thing, the closest thing I can get to a stamp really is just how it says this. It's just an O and a plus and whatever this is. It could be upside down too, I don't know. That's all I have for the gas mask. That's all I can see. Uh, the lens is, I, there could be a possibility that they used to be blue. But I, I can't tell. Um, and yeah, that's it. Um, Alright, so I'm going to be recording myself doing this experiment. Which actually already worked. Because I already tried it. So this lens is, lens is flat, right? Look at this. This is a flat lens. And here's another piece. I wasn't flat. You guys see the difference? This one looks like a potato chip. This looks like a flat potato chip. So, this works. And I'm gonna show you guys. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna heat it up over the stove. And after I heat it up on the stove, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna lay this on the counter and I'm gonna squish it flat. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it hot enough where it starts being bendy, but I'm not gonna do it so much where it's gonna start drip drooping, right? Because I don't wanna have that happen again. So I'm uh, and I'm not gonna put it too close. I'm putting it pretty up here. See that? It's pretty high up. So here it is, crackling and stuff, right? It's all now. It's really soft. I'm gonna lay it down. I'm gonna get this. And I'm gonna squish it. I'm gonna lightly squish it down the first time. Not too hard because I don't want to mess it up. Now when I try putting them together, it's a bit, you know, messed up. It's, it doesn't match as perfect anymore. Now if I was, wasn't stupid and I didn't crack it, I wouldn't have this issue. But look at me now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang it over the flame. Alright. Make sure it's all nice and warm. But let's not have it too close. I have it all nice and droopy. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, now I'm gonna lay it down. I'm gonna put it next to each other. Yep, I'm gonna try to. Yep, there you go. That, that works just nice. And I'm gonna squish them both together at the same time. Oh, look at that. Wow. Okay, that works really nice too. Glue it together. This won't be, a, there will always be a crack there permanently, but it's one of those things you're gonna have to live with. So now I'm gonna glue it together, right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lightly um, put some glue on, some ad clear adhesive glue, right? Or that I just got from Home Depot and try to put this together. I'm gonna put a light amount, right? Oh, no, 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 that's a lot. <laughs> I didn't even squeeze it. It just came out like that. Okay. Um. Oh. I'm going to put it together. Oh, is that the opposites? Whoops. There you go. Now I'm going to put that together. I'm gonna let that dry, well, if, but since it is attached to the fo to the table, it will be sticking to the table. So you kind of want to move it around, so it can stick t together, but won't stick to the table. Cause that's not something you would want. You don't want it sticking to the table, cause when you try peeling it off, it's just gonna snap off, and that would defeat the whole purpose of, of this, right? 
I'm just rubbing the glue across. Right. Right, that's it. Uh, I'm going to show you guys when it's done drying. So, here's what the mask looks like now. Right. Um... Yeah, I just, I slowly placed it back in. It's not perfect in any means. But I think it kind of looks cool with the crack, to be honest. It kind of makes it look more badass in my opinion. But hey, that's kind of how I fixed it. I just slowly placed it back in and that's it. Um, It's not too secure, but it's not going to fall out. So that's good. And I, I'm not really going to be wearing this. This is not really a costume. This is a fucking World War II German relic. So I'm just editing the video. Right. Right here. Oh my. So I was a German World War II relic and blah blah blah. And then it cuts off. Um I didn't realize at the time that I didn't finish the recording. I guess it cut off at one point. I accidentally ended the recording and said I don't care. Okay. Didn't have the storage to keep recording. Whatever it was. Um, I'm just gonna say it now. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And uh, sorry if that was like a little bit strange. I try to make these videos more interesting, the gas masks and stuff. But I don't know how you guys want it. How how you guys want me to do it? I don't know if you guys want me to uh, explain the history of it too. Maybe you guys want me to do that. Just comment below if you guys want me to do that or have any suggestions so I should start doing more of. Um, I know I have a guy who's like, do the M17 gush mask or something like that. I don't know. Um, if you, I don't mind if you guys do that. I don't mind if you guys suggest me gas masks to unbox or do, um, and talk about. Uh, I'm not gonna do some history about this gas mask though. I'm lazy as heck. I'm only recording right now because I realized I didn't finish the recording on the video. And I'd be a little bit too sloppy. Even though this entire video is sloppy on itself. Um... If you guys want some information, I'll put a link in the description of like, I don't know, like some Wikipedia page about gas masks and about the GM38, uh, about how it's used by Wehrmacht or Luftwaffe or whatever. I don't care. Um, I just think they're cool and I like to collect them because I like World War II relics. Uh, it's nice to know the history of it, but I don't, I don't want to read an entire article about it. Anyway, make sure you guys like and subscribe, and peace. Thank you.